Hello, my name's Harvey Warner. My business is Iron Brigade Relics. I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana, and I'm here at Bob Zirko's Civil War Show in Wheaton, Illinois. It's a great place to come and learn about history. One of the things that I'm interested in is Civil War cannonballs. Yes, Civil War cannonballs. I have several of them here in front of me on the floor, and I'll talk to you about three. This is a 6.4 James shell. This shell has a unique end to it, and it's called a birdcage shell. This shell would be shot from a cannon that has a 6.4 inch hole in it, and it would travel a mile. After traveling a mile, it would explode. It could kill dozens of men when it exploded because the shrapnel flew everywhere. You've probably heard of give them more grape, sir. This is what grape looks like. This grape was meant to explode and do maximum damage. It had 12 balls in it about the size of a croquet ball. That had something wrapping around the outside of it, kind of looking like an old fashioned slinky that held the balls in place. But that's a stand of grape, if you've heard of a stand of grape. And then I think you've all heard of iron side boats, the Monitor and the Merrimack during the Civil War. This was a Monitor Crusher. This was a 100 pound shell they shot at iron plated boats. Look at the top of it. The top of it is flat. If it is round, it bounces off the ironclad and goes harmlessly up in the air. Because the top of it is flat, it hits the ironclad and does maximum damage. So just a very short lesson on Civil War cannonballs. We had the James shell, the grape, and we had, that's actually called a bolt, and that was the ironclad buster. Again, my name is Harvey Warner, a great show here. When you have a chance to come to a Zirko show, it's always gonna be great. Thanks for listening.